Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about having the zodiac sign Cancer on the 11th house cusp in a natal chart. Now, first thing I'll look at as far as this placement goes, as far as friends are, um, they may have friends that are somewhat maybe motherly, protective, sensitive, um, perhaps emotional. There might be, uh, they might be somewhat vacillating, maybe, maybe fickle or temperamental. They might uh, attract moody friends. Their friends may be seen, may perhaps assimilated of family members. They, this person may often uh, perceive their friends uh, this way. If they're much younger friends, for example, they might uh, see them as uh, perhaps uh, simulated uh, sons and daughters, perhaps. This person may take on a very protective and nurturing uh, quality toward their friends and might be very sensitive in, in matters connected with their friends and, and their acquaintances, perhaps, as well. Now, as far as the goals go uh, for, the, for this placement, uh, it could be something connected with cooking, um, maybe mastering being a chef could be one example it could be something connected with cultivating gardening because that's around the home maybe this person has some dream or aspiration that's associated with um, creating a home uh, building a home from ground zero uh, so to speak uh, constructing their own home perhaps it's something connected with real estate or home renovation uh, design architecture uh, perhaps this could be um, perhaps something uh, connected um, with buying property and and, and maybe being uh, someone that might buy property at a very low rate and then be able to sell just wheeling and dealing with, with real estate basic is what I'm saying and another thing is as far as groups may go uh, this person uh, may put a lot of emotional energy into these things and uh, it could be that possible in some cases that groups or organizations may be somehow connected with the home, may be run from the home, uh, even a home business, for example. Uh, it could be something where uh, maybe the groups involve their family members, uh, perhaps in, in some instances. Uh, the groups may be, uh, may be connected uh, perhaps with health care or, or something where maybe it's connected with healing others are helping those that are somewhat uh, oh, maybe oppressed people that are underprivileged or less fortunate where they could take this nurturing um, kind of nature uh, toward them uh, so those are some groups uh, that this person may be involved in now as far as humanitarian interests and endeavors go well, this person may be the, the kind of person that if it's something that they're doing in a humanitarian or selfless manner that they're not expecting reciprocation from, it could be something perhaps around someone's home. It could be doing some kind of renovation with it and, and just doing it out of charity, out of kindness, maybe running errands for people that are they're debilitated that can't go out of their home could be painting in someone's home, could be another example, perhaps doing things uh, for family members that they're not e expecting uh, remuneration or, or reciprocation. It could be that as far as anything of a humanitarian nature, that they put a lot of, of emotional energy in and a lot of sympathy and just true uh, unbridled uh, compassion uh, into this as far as anything uh, connected with the humanitarian uh, type endeavors. So another thing that's associated with the 11th house is the kind of friend that this person may be and how they may be perceived uh, by their friends and by others. and. This person may be somebody that could be uh, like the ultimate, I guess you could say, defender of friends or somebody uh, that shows a lot of compassion, a lot of sympathy, uh, nurturing qualities, maybe even motherly uh, qualities. I had worked with someone uh, a while back, more than 20 years ago, and he, um, I, I didn't know this for a fact. But I was suspicious he had Virgo rising, which would likely put the zodiac sign Cancer on his 11th house cusp. And he looked at me 
like a like a surrogate type son or I guess you could say like a, a son though not biologically related to him and I think a lot of times the friends um, as a friend this person can almost be more like like a uh, I guess you could say more like a surrogate family member now the 11th house is also associated with one's stepchildren if applicable and if this person does have uh, stepchildren uh, they may be seen even more strongly than the average stepchildren it, in other words perhaps almost really strongly like biological children more so than than the average person I would say and the stepchildren themselves perhaps they may be seen as somewhat moody or temperamental and changeable maybe having very strong uh, emotions uh, this could be uh, stepchildren that they may um, indoctrinate really strongly their family values um, into these children as if they were their own uh, biological children and, and carry on uh, perhaps family traditions uh, with these stepchildren. Well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for having the zodiac sign cancer on the 11th house cusp in the natal chart. And stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about having Leo on the 11th house cusp in the natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.